Well, hello there and welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make visually appealing viewports renders. So, if you're new to Blender or you've been using Blender for a while and you don't know how to give your the models texture like, like for example, you've um, textured your model in Substance Painter or maybe you use the texture paint mode in Blender to texture it. Normally it's going to come in as gray when you're not viewing it in EV or Cycles. So the first thing you're going to do is go over here. You're going to click this button over here. Then you go to texture. I don't use Studio, but you can use whatever you can try all this out but the one i normally use is flat so when i do that the next thing to do i'm going to be using this is going to be my screen that i'm showing the effects on but i'm going to be using this so that i can know when i'm selecting it so the next thing i'm going to do to add the texture because this was textured in substance painter so i want to add a texture to the viewport so you're going to select whatever you have. For example, I'm going to select the body, then go to texture paint. By default, it's always on height, on the height image. So you're going to select the base color and voila. So right now you're going to do it for all other meshes. So I'm going to do this for this. And this is the outcome. But right now it's just looking all flat based on what I selected. So to add a little depth, let's call it depth or maybe, I don't know, to make it look this appealing to the eyes. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click here again and then go to shadows. As you can see, it has, it's made it look much better. But you can actually push this further depending on what you want. So I'm going to push it. Oh, I missed the spot. Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to push this further right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to still go back here. I'm going to select cavity. Then I would by default to be on world but i'm going to change it to both then i'm going to tweak these numbers here my i already set it to point one each run that they work point one then you can also tweak this i think no set this to point five yeah so now it looks Amazing. She got seeds. So, this is how to add grit and have good. It's actually very good for viewports. Yeah, you can render this and it will give very good results. So, I'm going to also show you guys, I'm going to show you guys how I render my viewport. Like if I was to render an image in Blender, the viewport image, you don't go to normal render button there, you go to view, then click viewport render image. And that's it. Clean. Looking nice. Then for a video, you can be in your camera mode. So that's because the viewport render usually capture whatever is in the viewport. So if you're in camera mode, it captures whatever is in the four corners of the camera. So 
you go here, then click on the view post render animation. But first of all, you have to make sure you've already set your render, your made your render settings. You put the place where you want it to be. Render to, then you set it from PNG to FFmpeg. Then you just trick a little or two things and that's it. Set your frame rate. And that's it. So that's it for this tutorial. And I hope to see you guys in the next. Do well to like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Bye.